hello viewers you are once again welcome to my youtube channel in our class today we want to discuss the pronunciation of the shua sound the shua sound as we all know is the 12th vowel in the vowel the pure vowel transposition of the english language it is regarded as a weak vowel which also is the product of the weakening of strong vowels However, some people believe that it must be consistently pronounced as A wherever it is found. This misconception needs to be addressed decisively. And that is what this video is meant to do now. So we have compiled a list of pairs of words having the strong and weak uh, variations. And these are pronounced by a native speaker of English. As we watch and listen to the pronunciation of these words by a native speaker, we shall have clear understanding of how the shua should be pronounced in different environments. Let us watch and listen to how they are pronounced by a native speaker of English in order to guide us in our spoken English. In this slide before you here, you can see that we have a number of strong vowels surrounding a, a, the, the shua. The shua is placed at the center, while the strong vowels surrounding it are pointing at it. This is done to illustrate the fact that strong vowels like we have here can be reduced in different phonological environments and when that happens the reduction is realized as sure represented with only one symbol that is that you can see here this is a symbol we use to represent the weakening of every strong vowel in different environment of weak syllable we shall listen to this pronunciation of these pairs of words that are compiled in the in the slides here. How the a native speaker pronounces them in order to guide us. The first pair of words here is come and welcome. Let us listen to how they are pronounced. Come. 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 In that word, you can hear come. The next word, which is, is counterpart, it is a derivation from the word come having another syllable added to it. Welcome. 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 Here you have seen the words come and welcome. Come is pronounced in a strong form because it is a single syllable word. And so the vowel there, vowel number 10, is realized in its full form. Come. Come. Whereas in welcome, the word has become two syllables. And as a result of this, Syllable. The first syllable is stressed, while the second syllable, which uh, which is calm, is unstressed. This makes us to realize calm as calm in this context. Let's listen to how the word calm being paired with well in this context is being pronounced. Welcome. 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 The first syllable is stressed. The second syllable, which is calm, is unstressed. The fact that it's not stressed doesn't mean that the resolution tool is changed. The resolution tool remains the same. It is calm equally, but rendered in a very weak uh, degree. The pitch is reduced, the loudness is reduced, the length, the prominence is reduced. But the resolution tool is not affected. The resolution tool is not changed to A. It is still A. Uh, Welcome. Amazon. 
Amazon. In these two words, in this pair of words, we have Amazon and amazing. Amazon and amazing. Our focus here is on the first syllable, the first sound before in the in the word Amazon, as well as the first sound in the word amazing. The first sound in Amazon is vowel number four A, while the first the first sound in amazing is the schwa, which is a product of the reduction of A. Now our focus is on the resonation too how it is pronounced in the strong form and how it is pronounced in the weak form. Let's listen again. Amazon. 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 Amazing. 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 Amazon. Amazing. The vowel R in Amazon is what gets reduced in amazing. Thus, what is pronounced there is amazing, not amazing. So the resonation tone does not get shaped. It is still R, but in a very weak, almost inaudible form. Let's listen to this pair also. Satan. Satan. This pair of word has Satan and Satanic. Through morphological process, another morpheme has been added to Satan to realize Satanic. While it is Satan, the first syllable is rest. But in Satanic, the second syllable is rest, thus making the first syllable to be realized as a weak one. The vowel A in the first syllable in Satan is reduced to, to A in the second syllable. Satan. Satan. Satanic. 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 You will hear the word Satan and Satanic. That implies that the A, when it is reduced, is realized as A. Bold. Here is another pair of words. Bold. The word bold has vowel number seven as its um, peak. Bold. Or. Bold. Bold. Bold has been morphologically conditioned to realize as cupboard. We have added cup to it in order to realize cupboard. And now, having become cupboard, let's listen to how it is pronounced. Cupboard. 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 You can hear clearly that board is not pronounced as bird in cupboard. Let's listen to this pair again. Bold. Bold. Covered. Covered. Thus, we have bold reducing in the in volume, in the prominence, in the pitch, become but bold covered. Bold covered. Politics. 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 In this case, we have by number six, up being pronounced strongly in politics. It is realized in a strong form. But when the word politics uh, is morphologically uh, restructured to realize political, the vowel or in the first syllable becomes up. Let's listen. Political. 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 Here we have politics. Politics. There we have political. Political. Certainly, there is no changing of the weak vowel into air. 
the timbre of the vowel remains what it is. The resonation tone, the musical uh, quality of the vowel remains what it is, except that there is a reduction in the prominence, in length, in pitch, in loudness. Sina. In this pair of words, we have a letter ER forming the final grapheme inside the word Sina. Letter ER in the spelling. Letter ER comes last. Some students once told me that they have been taught that whenever they come across a word that ends in letter ER in spelling, it must be realized as a sure. Okay, to some extent that is true. However, an error that is attached to that teaching is that they said their teacher said that sure must be pronounced as a. E. This is also to be addressed in this place. ER or OR, whatever, ending a word as a result of which sure is being realized there does not necessarily mean that it has to be pronounced as A. Let us listen to this piano of word that has um, ER in the final position. Sina. Sina. You can hear here that the word is Sina, ending in ER, but pronounced as Sina and not Sine. The next word is Father. Let's listen to how it is pronounced. Father. 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 So these two words have ER at the final position, but they are pronounced as the way we have seen them. Seen them. We have heard them. The way they are pronounced, uh, the way they are pronounced by the native speaker is very, very straightforward. Father. Seen them. Teacher. Teacher. This one also ends in ER and it's pronounced as teacher, not teacher. Prayer. 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 So teacher is pronounced as teacher. Teacher. You can hear him. Teacher. Teacher. The speaker did not say teacher, but teacher. Prayer. He didn't say prayer, but prayer. Prayer. Here is another pair of words ending in letter E R. Driver. 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 You can hear him. Driver. He says driver. 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 This ends in letter E R, the spelling, but pronounced as a uh, driver. Baker. 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 So here is another pair of words that end in letters O R in the spelling. Thus, be realized as the sure. However, let us listen to how they are pronounced. Doctor. 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 Taylor. 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 None of those words was pronounced as Taylor or Doctor, but Doctor and Taylor. They are both sure sounds, but pronounced the way we have heard from the native speaker, Doctor, Taylor. Here is a pair of words ending in O-U-R. Let us hear the way they are pronounced. Favor. Again. Favor. 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 
Color. 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 From these two words, we didn't hear favor or color. What we heard was favor and color. From the examples we have listened to and watched in this video, it is clear that the sure sound is not expected to be consistently realized as air in every environment. Shua is a product of the reduction of the strong vowel. And these strong vowels have their individual resonation tools that accompany them when they are being pronounced. Most often, the resonation tools that accompany them are usually reflected when they are reduced into a weak form. That is exactly what we have seen in this video. That implies that the shua may be realized or pronounced as air in some environments, may be pronounced as all in some environments, may be pronounced as a in some environments, it may be pronounced as a in some environments. It all depends on the vowel, the strong vowel that gets reduced into shua. That guides the way we pronounce the shua in different contexts. Having watched this today, I believe you have gained insight into the pronunciation of Shua as one of the vowels of English. Thank you for being part of us in today's class. We shall meet again. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel? If you have not done that, please do that now. Like this video and share it. Continue to be with us as we keep learning in Voyager Voice English class. Thank you. God bless you.